So this is the uh, courthouse. I found this on rebrickable.com. It's made by a guy called Yanix, and he has taken two of the LEGO Creator Expert police stations and uh, taken the parts from that and then turned it into a courthouse. So I will post the link to the page with the instructions in the descriptions below if that is something you are interested and you want to check out. He has made some really nice instructions and uh, they cost a little bit of money to buy but I think it's worth it to support the creator and he also has other creations, other alternative builds that he has made on his page so definitely worth checking that out. This building consists of 5009 parts and is on two 32 by 32 base plates so it has a 32 by 64 stud footprint and here I place it next to the Lego Creator Expert police station so that way you can see roughly the size of the courthouse. So first off I thought we'd take a look at the exterior of the courthouse and then also the interior details of it. Now this is a modular building so you are able to remove the different sections, the different floors. So we have the first floor here, then the second floor, the third floor is where the roof starts sloping inwards a little bit and then we have this is able to come off and this, that's the rooftop with all the plants and trees and then there's the clock tower on the top. So let's just look at the front facade here. There are two double doors in the entrance and then there's two flower beds on either side. There is a lot of details around the windows on either side and also there's a balcony on the second and the third floor. There's some nice towers on the corners of the building and also a nice scale of justice sign at the front here by the roof. And then here is a door for roof access and also some flowers, bushes, a bench and then up top is the clock house and then there is a little a little ladder right here where you can access the clock tower. So let's take a look at the um, let's take a look at the sides here as well. If we look here at this side, there is a couple lights here, some nice decorations around the windows. And then, as I said earlier, the roof starts sloping off onto the third floor. Also, there is this decoration here, which you have to remove in order to remove the second floor. So, it helps hold things in place and also it's a nice decoration piece right there. The other side is a mirror build of this, so it looks the same. So, one more thing we can take a look at is the back side of it. And here is the back side. <coughs> so, it has four of these um, one by twos with the uh, Technic pinholes so that you can uh, connect it to other modular buildings. That Lego have made and then it has a little bench back here, a little flower bed, it has a fire door on the third floor and then 
there's a window here in case of a fire and then the fire escape down the back of the building otherwise it is pretty plain on the back side there's a few details with some masonry bricks here but other than that that's pretty much it so let's take a look at the inside so now I have removed the other floors and we just have the ground floor here to start with so once you come up these steps and enter through the doors you come into this little lobby area here where there's a newsstand and then there's a little seating area there for maybe a receptionist or a security guard there's the door that leads uh, to the back and then there's also some flower pots on your way up to the staircases that lead to the second floor and then there's a door right here and then there's a door right there that lead into two separate courtrooms one courtroom here one courtroom here and these are mirror builds of each other so it's possible to have two proceedings at the same time and there's also some seating areas back here And then what I showed you earlier on the back, there's a bench here and a little flower bed. Okay, so now let's take a look at the second floor. So with the second floor added, you can see that once you come up through the two staircases there is uh, some open office space on this side with four desks and two phones then there's a file cabinet here then there's a door here that goes into an office and there's also a bathroom over here and then on this side it's the same open office space there and an office and a bathroom and underneath the stairs here is a water cooler and then you just walk around here and these are the steps leading up to the third floor so now I've added the third floor and this is where the roof starts to taper off and slope upwards so it's a little difficult seeing what's in here but um, these are the steps coming up and then here is the door to the balcony and there's also a really nice light fixture hanging there in here is a conference room on this side and then if you go around the opening in the floor this door here leads to a storage room so I think I will take these panels off here just to show you the two different rooms okay so with the um, roof panel removed here it's a little easier to see that there's a table with six chairs and a screen so it is possible to have a little meeting in here and then also over here there is storage maybe evidence papers for the trials so now I'll add the uh, the roof so here's the roof put on you have the scales in front here there's a lot of green on this rooftop a lot of uh, bushes and plants so that's nice there's also a bench here to sit on 
So to get access to the roof you come out through this door here and then to get up to where the clock tower is there's a little ladder to climb right there. So the, the clock tower is modular as well so you just can place that on like so and then the clock tower on top. So yeah, this was a very nice build, very enjoyable. So here is the back side of the courthouse and here it has these four Technic pinholes that matches with the modular buildings. So here I have the 2023 Jazz Club modular that if I were to have pins here I can connect them and then it fits perfectly next to each other. The um, courthouse is just slightly taller right here and then also the back of the clock tower sticks up a little bit but you can definitely add the uh, courthouse to your modular buildings and uh, I look forward to placing it in my Lego city so to wrap up the review here of the courthouse I think it was a really nice building experience there were a lot of interesting building techniques and a lot of details, so I enjoyed it very much. Let me know what you think about the courthouse uh, in the comment section below. It's always interesting to hear different people's opinions, so I always enjoy reading the comments. And uh, yeah, see you guys uh, on the next video.